Audio Evolution Mobile offers several ways for us to control a lot of aspects within the app. For instance, there's clip automation, which would be to simply enter edit mode, and now we get these handles around our clips so we can do a fade. But if you want to get really fancy and, and detailed with things, there's another type of automation that lets you control all manner of things within the app. So let's, for instance, say that uh, I want to do that same fade with the channel volume. I add in a point and tell it to ramp up. And if we go back now to, or actually, you know, let's, let's do some more things. Uh, let's pan things wildly just for purposes of demonstration here. If we now close out of automation and we're back at this uh, mixer, you'll be able to see the pan knob going back and forth wildly, as well as the uh, mixer uh, volume control. And if you decide that, well, that was a terrible idea, let's not do that anymore, you can go in and just clear it. And that's gone. But if we go to the channel volume now, you'll see that the clearing it didn't affect that. Clearing it only cleared out that one parameter. So I, I can keep my fade if I want to keep my fade. But uh, the automation also lets us control built-in effects. So that is a, a whole world of interesting possibilities. Uh, actually, let me clear out this and turn off this one. So you can listen to the second track I have loaded up here. which I know is going to sound amazing if I throw in a chorus. So if I swap in here, use the built-in chorus, uh, listen to how this sounds as I bring it in the mix of the chorus. So you hear at the, the end of that loop, it sounds really good with the, the chorus, but not so much in the beginning. So I, instead of me manually having to do this, we can use the automation to just wrap it up however we want to fit that sound. So let's go back to our view here and entering automation, we can select the chorus mix here, just like we were using the volume control. And now we can say, all right, let's start off with zero and then maybe go down here and then up here or something. Let's hear how that sounds. That's okay, but we can do a lot better. We can use the move tool to let us manually shape things around. That sounds a lot better. But now we gotta kill it when it gets to the, the second loop. So let's add another point here. And if you want, you've also got manual control of these parameters. So let's it's using whatever you've got selected right now. So the last point sele is selected. I can tell it to take this all the way down to zero. And that point just shot way down. I could move and select this one. And now this is the select one. And if I change that to 50, it now shot down halfway. So let's hear how that sounds. So because of the way that I've shaped this, as it's moving on to the rest of the bars, it's keeping that chorus down at zero, which is a really handy way of, of keeping control of some of your effects that might sound a little too uh, insane if you just let them run it full all the time.